What's up guys? I'm gonna give you a great body weight circuit for footballers. Five exercises, two upper body, two lower body, and one core. Super simple, no weights needed. You can do it at home, you don't need much space, a lot of carryovers to the field. You don't need to be fancy in the gym, man. Just get some solid work done, try this circuit. Exercise number one, like I said, nothing fancy, the push-up. I run camps, I run clinics, and I watch these kids do five or 10 push-ups after losing a scrimmage and I have to like almost cover my eyes. There's a lot more form in it than you think. When you get down, you wanna keep it clean. Get in that tall plank position, spine neutral. You don't want your head up like this. You don't want your head or chin tucked like this. You don't want your back sla uh, slouched like this. You don't want your butt in the sky, yada, 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 yada. You don't want your feet or hands like this or like this. Keep your wrists under your shoulders nice and stacked and keep your spine neutral and come down and then come up. Also notice my elbows. They're in that arrowhead position, kind of angled. I'm not out here like this. This just hurts just to demo. This is killing my shoulders. So again, can you get that form? I'll leave the reps up to you because everyone's at different you know, levels. But whatever you do, say you're going to do 20 push-ups or 10 push-ups. Do full range of motion all the way down, all the way up, and stay nice and relaxed. But again, form is big here, guys. This is your first upper body exercise in the circuit. It's upper body push exercise because you're pushing, obviously, to work that chest. Push-ups. Following right behind the push-up is the opposite. We have our row. If we're gonna push, we have to make sure we pull as well. If you just work your chest all the time and neglect your back, you're gonna kinda adopt this posture. When you work your back, it helps open you up and you get that nice athletic posture that we all love. So I'm gonna go with a row. You need some type of handles for this one. You know, connected to a tree, whatever. Something stable, obviously. Grab the handles. But again, the same rules apply as the push-up. I like to elevate my feet to kind of get me that same type of push-up position. Not exactly the same, but again, before I was facing down, now I'm facing up. But same deal. I don't want to be slouched like this. I don't want to be overextended like this. I don't want my head here or head here. Get your body in a relatively straight line, abs tight, and row. Up and down. Keep your elbows in that same type of position. Don't flare them out like this. That's the same thing as an ugly push-up. Don't have them too close in like this. Find that nice neutral position and just pull. Down and pull. I'm working that back. Keep my core engaged, not trying to cheat my reps. That is your second exercise in the body weight circuit, the TRX row. Third exercise, the two upper body are done. Upper body push upper body pull, chest and back complete. Now, my lower body's still fresh, I gotta work this now. Now, I'm gonna go with an, a uh, lower body push. I'm gonna choose the skater squat. In football, you're on one leg all the time. You're jumping, you're landing, you don't wanna hurt your knees or your ankles, so single leg stability and strength is very important. When you're cutting, when you're pushing off, you'll see it, it's a lot of carryover. I'm gonna pick the skater squat. I like using the pad as a guide, so I know how deep I want to go. So a skater squat, you come down, I want to tap that left knee, boom, and then come up. Obviously, I'm working my right leg right now. I'm trying to stay stable. Obviously, I'm wobbling a little bit, but I'm really trying to fight to keep everything neutral and not have my foot, uh, knee cave in or maybe go to my toe, keep my whole foot flat on the ground and come up. I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing, I'm trying not to wobble, and I'm working this leg right here. I'll give you two more. Down, just kiss it, don't slam it, and stand. Down, kiss it, and stand. Obviously, if I wanna go lower, I can take one away. If I wanna go not so low, I can get another one. You don't even need that. I can do the same exact height and kinda just guess and then come back up. I just like to know I'm going the same exact height every single time. That's why I use this as a guy, but again, you don't need it. That's your skater squat. That's your lower body push, your third exercise in the circuit. The fourth exercise, again, still lower body, that skater squat worked a lot of quad. So now I wanna pick an exercise that works, you know, the glute and the hamstring. We know in football, we need these two muscles, not only for speed, but also injury prevention. You see a lot of people tweaking their hamstrings, you know, straining it, so make sure you keep these muscles strong. The exercise I'm picking, and again, no weights, just body weight. Lay on the ground, glute bridge walkout. 
So you get down, it doesn't matter how, where you lay or which way you face, it doesn't matter, just lay down. You're gonna start with a glute bridge. You're gonna bridge up quickly on the glute bridge. You wanna be you know, diagonal from your, your knee all the way down to your ear. Like this is overextended. Now I'm kinda of getting rounded. This is too low. Right here is too low. Get up, lock the hips. Once you lock the hips, boom, stop. Don't go any higher than this. Now, can I keep my form as I walk out? I like doing six steps out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then four back in. One, two, three, four. You can alternate which foot goes first. Doesn't really matter. Three, four, five, six. Right now my hamstrings are on fire. One, two, three, four. So I know obviously when I'm in the glute bridge, it's more glute. As the feet walk out, I'm getting more and more hamstring. Right in the back of the leg. You don't have to hold this this long. You can if you want to, but then you come back in. I'll give you one more. The glute bridge walk out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Don't drag the feet. Lift and actually step, and you're gonna feel it, man. Right in the hammies, a little bit of glute. Sometimes if you want more glute, maybe you do like one, two, three. Do your rep, come back in. One, two, you can add in some glute bridges if you want to, to get more glute. But again, either way, just play around with it and you'll get the results. Fourth exercise, glute bridge walkout. Okay, last exercise. You did your two upper body exercises. You did your two lower body exercises. Now let's hit the core. Again, the dead bug, I love it. I, I share it all the time, has a lot of different carryover. But on the dead bug, again, feet are up, look for 90 degree angles roughly, arms are up. You wanna look like a, you know, a dead bug on your back. Most important part, your lower back, keep it flat. You don't want your back, look at me, to arch like this. Look, my hand fits. Can I get my back flat? Now my hand cannot fit under my back. Can I keep my core stable? And now move my opposite leg, opposite arm out, and then back out and then back without losing that lower back. I'll do a bad one as I come here, I'm arching now. That is a bad rep, all hip flexors, no core. I'm here and again, I also feel my lower back when I lose that um, flat back to the ground. When you get your back flat, now I feel all my abs, all abs. I'm fighting to stay neutral and not break. That is the dead bug, such a great core exercise for footballers because again, when you're running and sprinting, and your limbs are moving, right? Boom, boom, boom. What are you trying to keep while you're running? You're trying to stay tight and organized. You don't want to be running all sloppy. So again, when you're doing a dead bug, your limbs are moving. Can they move and have your center not? So now when you're sprinting, can you keep good form and be here and not be like this or like this? Again, it has carryover core. That's your fifth exercise, the dead bug. There you have it guys, nothing fancy. I'm not recreating the wheel. I probably didn't blow your mind with, with some exercise you thought I was gonna invent or surprise you with. Cause again, it's nothing fancy, man. It's the simple stuff. You have to master the basics. I do, I do, I've been doing pushups since I was three. Maybe not three or four, maybe five, I don't know. Ask my mom, but I've been doing pushups forever. They continue to get better for me. And I, my pushup can still be improved. I'm always working on it. And that goes for all five exercises. Keep doing them, keep getting your technique cleaner, and you'll see, you'll start to feel better, your posture will get better, and you'll see the results actually carry over more to the field as your form improves. Reps and sets, I didn't go into details because I'm leaving that up to you. I can't tell you to do 40 push-ups if you only can do 15. Figure out what's a good set for you, challenge yourself, but make sure, most importantly, your technique is sharp. Do your push-ups, do your rows, do your skater squat, do your glute bridge walkout, and do your dead bug. Pick your reps. Once you get around, that's one set, you know, and figure out how many sets you want to do. Some days when I feel I want a lighter workout, maybe I do two sets. If I want a harder workout, maybe I do four or five rounds of the circuit. It's up to you. Keep it simple. I'll say it again one more time. Technique is most important. So again, that's your body weight circuit for footballers. Enjoy it. If you like it, leave me a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll make more of this stuff. See you guys soon.